So I'm just finishing up my lunch of a couple of hard boiled eggs and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to share with you the cook kit that I boiled them up in. And this is the Fire Maple Petrol, 600 milliliter, hard anodized aluminum, heat exchanger pot. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Fire Maple for sending out the petrol so that I could share it with you. So I have been using this on and off for the last three months, as soon as the weather started to warm up enough that I could use a gas canister stove with consistent results. So uh, I don't use it all the time, of course, because, well, it's small. It's only 600 milliliters capacity inside of it, but that is enough to do what I did today, which is to hard boil up a couple of eggs, make myself some coffee. I could use it for freeze dried or dehydrated meals. So it is capable, but keep in mind, it is kind of small. So I've run a number of tests on it out here in the woods and at home, and uh, I think I can give you some good results from that. So what I thought I'd do is just bring the camera a little closer, focus in on the petrol itself, give you a few specifications, tell you the results of my testing, and then wrap this video up. All right, I put everything back in the stuff sack that came with the petrol, just a nice stuff sack, a little larger than it needs to be, but better than a little small. We'll just toss that aside. So everything I use today, minus the lighter, which is in my pocket, is inside of this. Now it's going to be wet when I take it apart because I did just use it. So let me just show you what I've got inside. Locking handle, a Triton lid with a couple of vent holes here for straining and for steam. This is my Hornet 2 stove. I'm going to dig that back out in a minute. And a four ounce gas canister stove. So let me just give you a few specifications on the pot by itself. Where did I put the lid? Here's the lid. Okay, so the volume for this, as I mentioned, is 600 milliliters, which is 20.3 ounces. So yeah, not a lot, but over two cups. So that's not too bad. The weight though, that's where this thing really shines. And that comes in at 5.7 ounces or 161.6 grams. The height top to bottom is 5.9 inches or 149 millimeters. And the diameter inside 4.2 inches or 106 millimeters. It is made of hard anodized aluminum. I've got some dirt inside of it from putting the cast canister back in. Uh, I just wanted to show you this, and this is kind of the unique feature and what makes this stand out. There is a heat exchanger on it, and you can see there are three slots in the heat exchanger, and they're designed specifically to match up with any, not any, there is a few exceptions, most gas canister stoves that have three legs on the pot holder. Specifically, it is matched to the Hornet 2 Titanium. Uh, gas canister stove from Fire Maple, which I've reviewed previously, if you're interested. But I did test it with a few others just to see what kind of results I could get. So just let me put the gas canister and, and the Hornet 2 together, and I'll show you how the whole thing fits together. All right, just before I bring the stove back in, the Hornet 2, to show you how they mate up together, I wanted to point this out because it's something I would have missed, and it is actually a nice feature, and that is, of course, measurements marked into the side. You can read them from the outside as well as from the inside, and they're there both in metric and imperial for whatever it is you like to use. Now, let me just bring the other stove. So you can see I've got the Hornet 2 mounted on a small four ounce gas canister stove. And as you saw, it fits in nicely inside. So what you do is you just light the stove up then put the pot on top and it locks right in to the bottom of the heat exchanger where those slots are. And it is distanced perfectly for the most efficient use with this stove. The, again, I say the Hornet 2 from Fire Maple, but it will work with just about any stove that has three leg pot stand forming that triangle. I did try it with my Fire Maple FMS 116T, which is also an ultralight titanium stove. Um, I got different results in the boil times, which I'll get to in a minute, but it did fit on there. I did try it with my tiny little ultra light one, the one that is like BRS. It did not fit on that one for some reason. And I think it had something to do with the pot stands right about this point. They seem to have a little curve to them. So they would not slide into those slots perfectly. But I have also tried it with larger gas canister stoves that, well, they were just too big. They're not something you would carry along. The, the whole point is that you can make this compact system of having everything together inside of the pot. So it only makes sense that you're going to do it with light stoves. Those are the stoves I had. It will fit on a number of other stoves, Fire Maple advises, as long as the angle of the pot stand is 120 degrees, then it should fit. 
You really, you kind of have to test it out. I only, I could only test it with the stoves I have. So again, I'll just put this on top. And again, it is distance from the burner perfectly to get the most efficiency out of the stove and pot combination. Um, using it, it, it is fast. It's really fast. And in fact, one of the things I noticed is that you do have to be a little bit cautious when you take the pot off of the stove. There's no excess heat. You're not going to burn yourself because if you kind of turn it as you are lifting, you could kind of grab the pot stance a little bit. So it just takes a little tiny bit of, not finesse, just focus. Lift it off easily and you're not going to have an issue. All right, let me just refer to my notes because I wanted to give you the boil times that I got with this stove as well as the other one I mentioned, the FMX, FMS 116T. All right, as I mentioned, I did try the petrol with a number of gas canister stoves that had the three-legged configuration, but the only two that I ran tests on were the Hornet 2 and the FMS 116T. They're both small stove, compact enough to go inside of the pot with the gas canister and, you know, close down. It didn't make a lot of sense to test it on larger stoves, stoves that I wasn't going to carry it with anyway, even though they did fit on the stove itself. So I tested those two stoves and I got some really different results. And what this shows me is that this pot is designed to work at its most efficient with the Hornet 2. You can still use it with other stoves, but you're going to get different results. And I can't tell you what all the stoves will give you, but I'll give you the results for these two. So when I ran it with the Hornet 2, I was able to bring two cups of water to a boil in two minutes, 55 seconds. I thought that very respectable, considerably faster than when I used the Hornet on a pot that did not have the heat exchanger. I'll put the comparison in the video description for you. However, when I turned it on or attached the FMS 116T to the uh, gas canister and put the pot on top, it was a different result. I got three minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, considerably slower. And I can, the only thing I think that accounts for that is the distance between the top of the burner and the heat exchanger and bottom of the pot. Like I said, it was designed to work perfectly with the petrol. You know it's not going to work as well with any other stove that has a different pot gap, if you will. Now, there is an advantage to using the FMS 116T, and I pointed this out when I did the comparison between the, that stove and the Hornet 2, and that is the FMS 116T is a much better stove for heat distribution and simmering because of the design of the burner. It's not so centralized to the bottom of a single spot on a pot. It's a wider stove top, so it's going to give you a dispersed flame, and you can turn it down to a really low simmer much more so than you can with the Hornet. The Hornet is just a speed monster. It really is and very efficient at that. Okay, so those are the results of the testing. Um, there's not a lot more I can say about it. If you have any comments or questions, put those in the comment section below. All the specifications for the stove and the tests I ran will be in the video description as well as the links to where you can take another look at it if you're interested. My overall impression is this is a great little combination for light hikes when I'm not building a fire and I'm just moving quickly, maybe a scouting hike. Like, in fact, that's what I'm out today is doing a scouting hike. When I just want to be able to boil up a couple of eggs and make some coffee or rehydrate a meal, it, it's perfect for that. It takes up so little space in my backpack or even a shoulder bag and is lightweight to boot. What more can you ask for from a small combination like this? All right, as I mentioned, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.